Hello, this is Gary at Jack Raven Brushcraft. Thank you for watching our video. Uh, this week I am going to show you how to tie a diagonal lashing. It's a bit of a damp day today. We've got a bit of a mixture going on. So there's some really thick fog mist around um, and that's interspersed with some bouts of fairly heavy rain. So I'm going to just take cover in our outdoor classroom directly behind me and uh, I'm going to do the diagonal lashing under there. I have previously uh, put together a video on tying a square lashing. So square lashing where we take two spars and we um, lash them together at right angles to each other. Uh, so a diagonal lashing is where we're going to lash two spars uh, in this kind of position. Uh, so why might I want to do that? So one uh, application that kind of springs out uh, if we were to tie them more like this, um, just to lash together a quick, um, quick and dirty sawhorse for instance. Start my diagonal lashing off with a timber hitch. So I have done um, videos in the past that show you how to do a timber hitch. Uh, but in essence, we're going to go. So I'm going to go around the two spars here, like so. Back. So I'm going to take the working end back around the standing end, like so, and then just wrap it around here three or four times, like so. So there is my timber hitch. Now what I'm going to do is bring this string, bring the cord around, so horizontally initially. So like so, and I want to put on three additional wrapping turns. So not so not including the the timber hitch itself. Uh, three additional turns. So, so that's two and that's three the three's a, a minimum really like so and again i want to pull those in nice and tight now i'm going to go around the back there and now what i'm going to do is put in some turns kind of so if you think of those as being vertical now i'm going to uh, sorry if you think of these as being horizontal that way, I'm now going to go that way, which will be turns on the vertical. So, right. so one, two. Third. Right. So. Yeah. So and again, I'm pulling these tight as I go. And now what I need to do to finish this off, and so this is something that we have in common with our um, square lashing. I'm now going to put the frapping turns on around the outside here. So I'm going to bring the string, my cord, like so. So now going around here. And in fact, what I'm about to do at this point is make my cord a little shorter. So I'm just put that to one side. Now putting these frapping turns in position and pulling them nice and tight. Like so. So just I've just repositioned the camera slightly as after I knocked it. Uh, so I'm pulling my frapping turns nice and tight. Like so 
and then to finish it off I'm just going to do a very simple one two half hitches and so that is a diagonal lashing but this is the lashing complete and actually I'm just I'm kind of squeezing on the bottom I'm pushing pretty hard actually on the, no I'm pushing very hard now on the bottom and it isn't moving in any more than that so there is a little bit of flex there but not a not a whole lot so you can see this is quite a, a robust uh, lashing I hope that's something you found useful, something that uh, will add to your own bushcraft skill set. Uh, I will try to get some more content out next week. Make sure you don't miss out on that. You can subscribe either to our YouTube channel or to our blog, either of which are Jack Raven Bushcraft. Until then, take care.